Welcome back. In this section, we're going to throw a little bit of a curveball at you. Up until this point, all of the two-column proofs that we have done, we've given you the given and what we want you to prove, and we've given you a diagram to help you, assist you in what to do and what needs to be done. But now, in this section, we're just going to give you a sentence or two and ask you to complete the proof. So you're going to have to write your own diagram, use your own letters, uh, come up with the correct given, the correct proof, or givens, it might be more than one, the correct proof, and then we're going to ask you to write your two-column proof. Okay, so here's an example of the kind of questions that you might see. We'll ask you to prove that the altitude to the base of an isosceles triangle bisects the vertex angle. Well, what are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove something bisects the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. So let's think about this. What are we given? Okay. We're given a couple of things. Uh, we're given that we've got an isosceles triangle. Uh, we're given that um, we have an altitude of that triangle. And we want to prove that that altitude bisects the vertex angle. So we're trying to prove a bisector of the vertex angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our diagram. Obviously, we need an isosceles triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle. And we know an isosceles triangle has at least two sides congruent. So your reader knows which two sides are congruent or what the base is. You need to specify what in your given, like what are the legs or what's the vertex angle. So um, I'm going to be real simple here. I'll just call this triangle ABC. So I'm going to rewrite my given. And I'm going to say we are given triangle ABC is isosceles with base BC. Or we could say with vertex angle A. But this tells us a lot. If we know our base is BC, then we can deduce that AB is congruent to AC and that type of thing or we can deduce that angle B is going to be congruent to angle C. So that's really important that you specify to your reader what the base is. Well, we need an altitude. A something is going to be an altitude. So we'll call it AD. So we have to give, we gave you there's an altitude. So pick your letters. AD is an altitude. And our proof we're trying to prove that this altitude also bisects the vertex angle. So that means that the angles up here, this is our vertex. So we want to bisect that big angle A. So we're trying to prove that AD bisects angle B, A, C. So we'll, we'll write our two column proof. So we got our statements, we got our reasons. Okay. And how will we know if we have a bisector of angle BAC? Well, if we can get angle 1 congruent to angle 2, we'll have a bisector. How are we going to get angle 1 congruent to angle 2? Hopefully, we can get the triangle on the left congruent to the triangle on the right. That's going to be our general approach. So working from the bottom, 
we should know that angle 1 congruent to angle 2 will be our second last step, probably by CPCTC. And then the step prior to that will be getting the triangles congruent. And we've done plenty of proofs like this before. And I think I will leave this for you to complete the proof. And I will check your notes. And I'll check for the correct proof when I see you in class.